There's my pedals. Where are my pedals? There are my pedals. Works well. Okay. Hello. Playing all MSI because luck of anything better to do and this is a downloaded map. Glad back. I don't know the route so I have those on. So let's pull ahead to whatever that stop is. Come on. Jesus. The brakes did not like to cooperate there. Yikes. Indeed. Thanks. No. Come on. There we go, that one. Hello, I'd like to have a car car. You do? Let's wait here. For eight minutes, I guess. I hear a bus. Where is the bus? There is the bus. I'm not waiting here for eight minutes, so time travel is possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just so we're not late. It tells me I should be leaving, and I'm lagging. There we go. Two buses behind me. There we go. Close the doors. Lock off. Alright. Hit the road. Am I supposed to turn? Turning left. Indeed. Eine Tageskarte bitte. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Fermé la porte. So, yes, the next OMSI update. I don't know when that's supposed to happen, but they have it listed somewhere, and if that car can turn, and that guy won't go through the intersection, I can continue concentrating on talking. Yeah, it's going to have articulated buses and an additional line number five, which I think will be quite exciting. I mean, articulated buses, what more could you want? Running train simulator is due out on sometime in August. I'm sure, the date should have broken down, but they'll stay on their website for sure. So look forward to that. To those wondering, yes, it'll include trains that involve steam in the operation. Could have just said steam engines, but. Who needs simplicity? Speed limit is 80. I don't know if my bus can ever make it up to that. Too many bus stops. Come on, people. We don't have all day. Well, I do, but it doesn't matter. Einmal Tageskarte. You do, isn't it? Huh. Boop, and a boop, and one, and over there, and you can have that. Take a change. There you go, sir. Have a good day. Thank you for letting me try.
there is also a C40LF and a D40LF add-on for the simulator that is in the works, so I hear. That's exciting to hear, so to the developer of that, my videos, if you require sound, are available. Send me a message if you want the full quality versions. That sounds exciting. I guess I can work on a brand new transit or Winnipeg Transit repaint if anybody's interested. I can put the time and the effort into that. Shouldn't be too difficult. And if there's an LFR version of it, Rapid Transit will be there for sure. And I will work on that. I'm getting the bus. Let's go. Here we go. Who knows, maybe a RT on that side now. I don't know, that's a lot of work. You know, let's see what I can do though. And what's with all the next bus arrival signs? Hello. Also ich bin heute den ganzen Tag unterwegs und deswegen brauche ich so ein Ticket, was für den ganzen Tag reicht. Sie wissen schon, eine Tageskarte heißt das dann? If you insist. Einmal Tageskarte. Gee, everyone wants day tickets. Also ich bin heute den ganzen Tag unterwegs und deswegen brauche ich so ein Ticket, was für den ganzen Tag reicht. Sie wissen schon, eine Tageskarte. Yeah, just go to the back of the bus. Yeah. And the door is open. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, you too. Ich hätte gern eine Kurzstrecke. Uh, math skills, please. I hear a train. Yeah, it's right over there. Oh, another thing I forgot about the update is that if you get a map with all the topography on it, you can put that into the OMSI editor, and then that will allow you to create realistic hills in your map. So, too bad there isn't something similar for roads, where you can just kind of draw lines where roads are of a certain size and have any use streets. And then it'll just add those in for you automatically. That would make things a lot easier and speed up map making for real maps. So, just a hint to the developers. Not much. Got a 
Oh yeah, that'd be an interesting feature. That would make height restrictions more relevant too. I mean, if there's a bridge somewhere that's actually too low for a bus, well, then the bus can't go under. It's... No, be quiet. I'm giving you your ticket. Just stop telling a story. Now I lost my train of thought. Yeah, speaking about features, yeah. And I'm going right. Well, anyway, when I'm recording this, it's just before I'm heading off to Winnipeg to go to the Prairie Dog Central Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. If you're watching this after that happens, those videos are probably up, and I could link to them in the description, and you can watch those. Basically involves a bunch of old vehicles and the first Prairie Dog steam locomotive. Which I haven't seen in a long time, so that'll be cool to see. And I think, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to go see that uh, BNSF locomotive they have. Why are my doors still a door? Still? Oh, well, ventilation. Oh, oh, that's that's nice. Shut up! Yeah. You're not driving. at the terminal. This dude would go. 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 Fast. Beat, beat. There we go. No problem at all. Almost two minutes down, though. I recall they give you long layovers at this this oh. map. Oh, fine then, just... Oh, door's still open. There we go. I guess it's Florida, because we need to catch up. Why is there... I'm not gonna ask. Oh, I just did. And we stop. And I did good. <laughs> 